Hey guys, this is Alex C with TFB TV, and today's field strip is going to be of the H and K G36. On the top is actually an SL8 converted properly uh, with the plastic welding and everything. I've done an article about this I can link to. But the bottom one is the real deal. That's going to be a factory G36KE, E standing for export. The G36K has a 12 and a half inch barrel as opposed to the long rifle barrel of the regular G36 or the G36E. And it is a handsome rifle, I think. I've always thought the G36 rifles looked really cool, especially with that fancy dual optic that I have on the SL8 conversion. They also have a really nice folding stock that makes it really short, very nice and portable. But let's get to it and field strip it. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure it's clear. I had the bolt to the rear already and inspected the chamber manually. Push out the rear takedown pin. HK loves their takedown pins. These are just like a, a G3s. There's also one located on the magazine well, and you can't store these in the holes on the stock, which is nice. Then your pistol grip comes right out. You can even change these to a single fire pistol grip, a two round burst a pistol grip, or a three round burst full auto, what have you. Then press the magazine tab all the way out and rotate the magazine well. You can even swap a Stanag magazine well if you want to run M16 magazines. Then you're going to fold the stock over. Now there is a plate on the rear that actually retains the bolt group. Push it in and pull it out and that has your recoil spring and buffer. Then you're free to remove the bolt and carrier all the way out of the rear. Slides really nicely, really nicely uh, like butter right from the rear of the rifle. Now to access the gas system, there's another pin located on the front, right under the front sight. Pull that out and store it with your other two pins that hopefully you stored in your buttstock instead of lost in the uh, sand or the grass, what have you. And you can pull off your forend, and there's your operating rod and piston. All in all, not too bad to get to this point. So let's go ahead and get the gas system taken down. Not too hard here. You're going to wrestle with the spring on the op rod. Set it aside. And then pull out the piston. Really easy to do this. Very simple gas system. Not too hard. Just don't let your piston roll off the table and uh, lose it. Now to do the bolt group, you'll notice there's a firing pin retaining pin that runs uh, across. I use the piston tip here to push out that retaining pin. And then when you remove your firing pin, your cam pin will also fall out. So set those down, and then you're free to remove your bolt. Um, I'd like to add that the bolt's surface, be that chroming or whatever, makes it really nice and soft in there, very uh, very slick. So there's your fully field strip G36. I would say no harder than M16 AR15. Very easy, a couple small bits that you could possibly lose if you let them roll off the table or something like that. Um, you know, these rifles are shrouded in controversy right now uh, with the German government. However, there does seem to be a little bit of vindication with a report released just uh, recently where they interviewed 200 soldiers, and they all were very satisfied with this weapon. Uh, my personal experiences with it have all been positive, and uh, Lord knows I've actually shot the heck out of it. Check out our G36 torture test video if you'd like to see that. Anyways, I'm Alex C. with TFB TV. Thank you very much for watching.